If you think London is only about tea and crumpets, Bobby's and Buckingham Palace, think again. The capital of Great Britain, London is also an epicenter of the world's economy and chock full of history and culture. London's landmarks are some of the most recognizable in the world. The Tower of London, London Bridge, and Big Ben are three of the city's most iconic structures. But bet you didn't know one was both a prison and a zoo. One isn't what you think it is, and one isn't really named Ben at all. The Tower of London dates back to 1066 and the days of William the Conqueror. Over the years, the tower has been used as a royal residence, an armory, a treasury, and a records office, as well as a prison. And did you know that for over 600 years, the tower was home to a zoo? That's right. Founded by King John of Robin Hood fame, it contained exotic animals given as royal gifts. Fans of the famous nursery rhyme, London Bridge is Falling Down, may be picturing another London landmark. The impressive suspension bridge spanning the River Thames near the Tower of London. In fact, that's not London Bridge at all, but the Tower Bridge, which opened in 1892 and is one of the most recognizable symbols of London today. The London Bridge that inspired the song was actually located about a mile to the west, torn down in the 19th century, and no longer exists, but several different bridges have been built on the same site. You can't visit London without getting a glimpse of the giant clock tower located at one end of the Palace of Westminster, home to the British Parliament. It's usually referred to as Big Ben, but actually, Big Ben is not the correct name for either the tower or the clock as most people think. It's the name of the clock's hour bell, which weighs a whopping 13.5 tons. The clock tower was the largest in the world at the time it was built, and is still the largest in Britain. It's certainly large enough for you to see next time you're across the pond and want to set your watch. And you won't be the only one. Around 15 million international visitors come to London every year. And it's no wonder, with a city that has so much history, we bet you didn't know.